The crew members of the Starship Enterprise went on their first mission over 43 years ago. And since that time, their journeys have been igniting the imagination of people everywhere. Scientists and humans in general want to satisfy their curiosity. They want to know why things are the way they are. They want to move things forward. I grew up in the whole space age era in the early 60s and late 50s. And it was inescapable. I mean, if you were young and you were interested and curious, it was natural to think about space. And the information I did have access to came through science fiction. Turns out I found that very inspiring. You look at the communicator that was used in Star Trek, which, you know, was sort of, you know, sci-fi, but now everybody's got one, right? You know, the flip phone is already out of date, right? You know, now we have iPhones. Star Trek showed us a futuristic world where seemingly anything from teleportation to warp speed was attainable. But it also inspired scientists and researchers whose work we'll see as we travel to laboratories and research facilities around the country to see what happens when science fiction meets science fact. Truly, the final frontier right here on Science Trek. So the goal is to make neurons in the brain and in the eye and other parts of the nervous system sensitive to light. And so if you look at um, you know, a person like, like Jordi LaForge in, in Star Trek, who is wearing a very fashionable, of course, pair of goggles that amplifies light and then sends it to his nervous system, one unexplained question in Star Trek is how does the nervous system actually detect that amplified light? And they never really go into that. And so molecules like what we're working on here, where we can sensitize those retinal neurons to light, might actually be the missing part of that puzzle, actually. Now, these molecules are very fast, so they can communicate at the speed at which the brain works. If you go back to the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, and ask people, what's the future of home automation? They would envision a humanoid robot that would walk into your house, uh, like Lieutenant Commander Data, maybe, go onto your table, pick up a dish, put it in the sink, wash one dish at a time, and put it away. Technology in Star Trek spans a tremendous range of different kinds of achievements from like the tricorder that sort of reads your body. I mean, that kind of thing, I think we could realize that. The science fiction writers then take this as the launching pad for all their crazy dreams. Join me as we explore the world of Star Trek and its influence on scientists everywhere. The future is now. It's a whole new world on Science Trek.